Yes. Okay, let's now go to a question from the forum. This is at forum.tokenmetrics.com. So question is, start looking into altcoins or wait? Guys, if I have a little bit to invest, should I keep waiting till it drops more? Or in general, wait for next altcoin season? I'm kind of not doing anything at the moment. Some alts are down like Polygon. Should I start going in there or wait more? Thanks. All right, uh, good question. Uh, let's go to Bill. What do you think? Yeah, with questions like this, I always start by saying you don't have to have all your money invested at the same time. So if you are starting from scratch in crypto, the next big red day, I would put 20% of your money into the market. That's like your Bitcoin, your Ethereum type stuff, not investment advice. Why? Because that will like laser focus your mind on what's going on with the market. So you can make more of an informed decision about the other 80%, right? If Forrest teaches you anything, it's about the benefits of being a student of the market. One of the best ways to become a student is to become involved. Okay. Now, should you jump into speculative plays as the market is dropping? Yes. Maybe with another 20%, not investment advice, but you want to make sure that you don't get caught or you don't get too invested initially. So you don't panic if there's a problem. Sometimes I think the best way to get invested is to buy dips once it really starts to go up, right? You want to see green, 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 red, buy, green, green, green. When you start seeing action like that, that's when you start maybe pushing more chips out there, especially if you're new. So not investment advice, but the best way to start is to start, right? Start with something. All right. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Forrest? Yeah, I 100% agree with Bill. Uh, I think dollar cost averaging uh, when, you're, when you're new to crypto is a really good uh, solution, right? You're not going to be exposing your entire portfolio or you're not going to be exposing all your money to crypto all at once. Uh, now, you know, I'm a big fan of being heavily exposed to crypto, but when you're starting out and you're trying to pick an entry point, I think it makes sense to dollar cost average like Bill was talking about. Um, the other thing is Bitcoin and Ethereum are both down over 50% from their all-time highs. If Bitcoin and Ethereum were at all-time highs, I would be saying not financial advice, but it's probably not the best time to invest unless we were just at the very beginning of a bull market. Right now we're in the situation we're kind of in it. We're in between a bull market and a bear market. We could go up. We could see further decline. However, historically, if you've bought Bitcoin or Ethereum 50% off of their all-time high, right, then you bought Bitcoin, right, in the last bull market uh, or, the, or the last bear market, rather, in the last correction, in the last market cycle, you bought Bitcoin at, give or take, $9,000, $10,000. That's a really good entry point for Bitcoin, given enough time. Same thing with Ethereum. If you bought 50% off of its 20, 2018, 2017, 2018 bull market all time high of $1,440, you bought Ethereum at $720. Imagine having Ethereum now at an average entry pr price of $720. That would be excellent. Now, did it drop well below that? Yes. And that's why it makes sense to keep uh, some of your money on the side to continue buying if it goes lower, dollar cost average in initially. Uh, but Buying 50% off is, I think, a, a great time to start that dollar cost averaging process. All right. Thank you, Forrest. And I have to agree as well. I mean, so I would say if you're looking to buy, buy, but don't buy everything with just one full sweep, right? Be patient because what if we go lower, right? Because right now, as we've kind of shown with our analysis, the market is basically going sideways, right? So what I, what I like to do is wait until there's blood in the streets, wait until there's a crash, wait until people are essentially wrecked, right? Kind of like with the pandemic, when altcoins were down 40% in one day, that's a good time to buy, right? Not just 40% over time, but 40% in one day, right? So even last month, well, actually not last month, but back in, in May, when, when altcoins went down 20, 30%, or when Bitcoin dropped 60% in, 12 days, that was a good time to buy, right? Not everything, but so for me, it's kind of dollar cost averaging, 
but when there's blood in the in the water, right? So it's not really a, about dollar cost averaging every single month, but it's more of dollar cost averaging when there's panic, right? Because in that sense, you want to buy the dip, right? Or you want to buy the the blood, <laughs> you know? Uh, pardon my my graphicness, <laughs> but in that sense, I think that's probably the way I would do it. But uh, let tell us what you think. Uh, what do you guys do? Crypto Kitchen says patience is key. Use data, not emotions, to make better buying buying choices. Absolutely, absolutely. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.